Yo, what is up guys? JT here. I'm going to be bringing you a really, really awesome update today. We've implemented a lot of the stuff that you guys have been asking for for the longest time. There's always some things that we need to get in first, but we finally felt like it was time to get vehicle fortifications in and those improvements to the RV that you've all been asking for so much. So let's jump straight into this one guys. Enjoy. In the original concept of the game, we showed vehicle fortification and you could snap free place fortifications right up onto the windows in predetermined locations. What we wanted to do with the vehicle fortification was make it fully free, free placed, which allows you to add strength to the overall vehicle strength, but also allows you to place items onto the vehicle that will deal damage to the zombies and allow you to lock up windows to, to ward off other players, etc. so they can't shoot you through those windows. This is completely free placed and any surface on the vehicle, providing it will fit, can actually have items snapped to it now. In addition to vehicle fortifications, we've also added vehicle attachable items. So as you can see here, you can place pull bars onto the vehicle, you can place light bars as well. And of course, the game wouldn't be complete without being able to attach a plow. So you can get the plow up onto the front of the vehicle now, and that actually adds strength to the vehicle, but also allows you to push zombies out of the way more easily. And we've rolled this out to all the vehicles, guys, so you can literally, if you can imagine it, then you can do it. You can place these items onto the vehicles. All right, it's time to talk about the number one requested feature in Survive the Nights, and of course that is the RV. For the longest time it's been in, but we haven't got around to implementing all the extra little features in there that we really wanted to get in. So we've gone ahead and done that in this update. You can now log off at the RV and that sets it as your home, so that means you can have a moving base. The doors now work in it. Uh, then we've implemented the ladder logic in the back so that you can climb up onto the roof and use that as a flatbed surface. While the engine is running, you can actually use the stove top now which is so cool, you can make a stew in there, you can drive around with it in your, in, obviously in your base, so you can take your food along with you anywhere you want to go. In addition to that, the faucet also works, and the vehicle is actually lockable now as well. Interiors, both the RV and the prison bus, can now be used in the same way that the flatbeds work in pickup trucks. You can now place items all over the interior of the vehicle, and they'll move with the vehicle and be persistent as well. Two new vehicle variants have been added as well. And those are empty versions of both the RV and the prison bus. And this allows you to use all the interior space to set it up how you would like it to be instead of using the furniture and fittings that are already in there. This really gives you the flexibility that you need to set your RV or your prison bus and moving base up as you want it to be. Realistic tyre punctures give the survivor something else to be thinking about. Punctured tyres can be fixed at the side of the road using a repair kit. Or additionally, you can remove the full wheel and replace it with your spare if you have one. This means you need to be extra prepared when you're going on far away runs from your base. Dependent on server config options, the vehicles now spawn pre-scavenged by other players, so that the vehicles will spawn with an array of either missing tyres or punctured wheels, or maybe some of them will actually still be inflated and working. This just means that you have to go around and makes the vehicle that little bit more precious to the player and keep them running with just that little bit more of an objective. In this version, we also implemented vehicle locking as well. If you're the owner of a vehicle, you can lock it, and this stops other players accessing the trunk space, the engine, and the doors as well. Another massively requested feature is lockable player storage. We've added this metal craftable container variant in this version again, which can be locked in the same way as vehicles. If you're the owner, you can gain access to it. Another requested feature was the brightness of the flares. They weren't really useful before. They were very useful for signaling other players, but you couldn't really use them to light up the area around you. So we increased the brightness and the range on these so that they can be used to light up rooms and light up the surrounding area. As always, dudes, I've only really been able to cover the surface here with this video update. Check the change log, that will be linked in the description for all the changes we've worked on. We look forward to seeing you in-game. I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks, guys.